What's up, comicbook.com, BD here in San Diego Comic-Con, and right now I'm hyped because it's Walking Dead, Dead City time. Welcome to Comic-Con. How y'all feeling so far? Good. Good. Good stuff. Uh, th this is not your first, con this is nobody's first Comic-Con, right? You've all been here before? So I haven't yeah. been to this one, but I've been to the New York one. New so York one. These are the vets right here. I'm taking <laughs> notes. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> how, has, uh, how has San Diego treated you so far? Are there any differences from New York that you've noticed? It's been great. It's been amazing. Yeah. I love San Diego. It's cool. Uh, I, I want you guys, what number Comic-Con is this for you two in the front here? I want to say I had a, a run of like 14 or 15 in a row, and then COVID screwed it up. Oh. What was your first Comic-Con for? It was for a little independent horror film. How, how many years before Woken Dead? Oh, many, many, many years. And then I crashed the very first year of The Supernatural, their very ah. first panel, which was like in a conference room. I mean, it wasn't even... Yeah. Not big time like it was now, yeah, yeah. Not, no Hall H. Um, oh, yeah. And then, uh, I, you know, just like horror movies a lot. Yeah. Always. A, I yeah. made a career off some horror movies for a while <laughs> there. <laughs> if you could go back and talk to yourself before your first Comic-Con and say, like, hey, here's, some, here's something about the ride, all these trips, all these things you're about to do uh, that you might not have known at the time, what, what would mm -hmm. you say to yourself back then? Wow. Uh, you know... There's nothing like San Diego Comic Con. There's no. nothing you can compare it to that you can't. Like I brought my son with me to this, and there's just no way to to tell somebody what it's going to be or what you're going to experience and how it's run. And the Hall H of it all is insanity. Um, I, I probably would have never come to Comic Con in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> It is a it is a, as a fan it's a crazy experience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fans, well, well, there's a member of the cast whose character is kind of a fan of Negan uh, in in Dead City, and mm -hmm. I, I want to know uh, <laughs> what it's like to craft a, a character that likes a guy who was such a villain, and that's what he liked right. about him the most. Yeah, it's just uh, I don't know. It's like setting up a mirror and saying like, can I do this? Can I live up to this? Um, that's one of those, one of the cool things about the first season is kind of roping him back in because I, I sort of created my whole personality and persona around watching him, um, and then kind of once he's in, suddenly the ground has shifted, uh, and season two is just a lot about that dynamic just not being quite what I bargained uh, for, um, and it's the same with the character of the Dama. You know, when he's gone, I set her up as my guru. Um, so having those two uh, together um, is a dream come true and also oh, just yeah. the beginning of the nightmare. <laughs> um, it just seems like no matter what Negan does, he always has a way out and people are willing to cover for him uh, when it comes time. So talk to me about Pearly and going into season two. Uh, after like the way season one ended, I know you will probably learn a little bit more about this during the panel, but... You know, what What do you think of Negan going into season two and where's that going to go? Yeah, well, season two, I get to see the other side of Negan that uh, the OG characters know so well. Um, so there's that. And uh, there's also a war coming. So mm. um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be some stuff I think the fans will be you know, really, uh, really thrilled to see. There's a lot of explosions, a lot of fire. <laughs> um, reading some of it on the page, I was like, okay, so we're like, we'll have fire, we'll have flamethrowers, right. we'll have all these things. I'm like, oh, CGI, you know? And we show up and there's like a guy with a real, well, two guys with real flamethrowers. So a lot of cool stuff to see. Now, I definitely don't watch like set videos or photos that end up online. I would never. But <laughs> if I did, maybe like I saw a classic OG weapon showing up. Speaking of OG Negan. Oh, yeah, that's for, perhaps a very true thing yeah lucille that's i mean i'll say it I, 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 <laughs> how'd it feel to reunite I, there i'll say i've never had a prop in in my career that i enjoyed i they they're very burdensome burdensome to me and there's something about that bat that even at, in between takes i hold her and i don't want anyone <laughs> to take her away from her um, so for me, it was kind of like old home week, you know, the yeah. minute I got to hold her again, I've, I look, I can't even refer to it as an it, it's a her for me. <laughs> um, we were married and then divorced. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, and I gotta tell you, it, it's, I didn't miss a beat. It, it, it I think it's, it says so much about Negan and his, his relationship with that bat and what she represents. And, and it's not the same this year. They, they go through some growing pains together, Lucille and Negan. Um, <laughs> that being said, Jeff was real happy to have her back. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Uh, 
Eli, I want to get your opinion on something because anytime there's even a moment in the show that can be interpreted as a Maggie Negan any sort of romantic flash. <laughs> and then the social teams, they go play with it. I see the Walking Dead social teams go play with it. Do you understand the fire you are playing with uh, when, when those things happen? I mean, I, I, I'm learning about that. Um, <laughs> That's I've, why he was brought in. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I've been shipping that for a while. No. Oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, uh, That's we, gonna blow it up right I'm there. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Can we crop me out of that part of the video? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I mean, look, there's like... Uh, there's a, this like gravitational pull between these characters, and yeah, it's like fire. But uh, I mean, I, I mean that's uh, mm -hmm. to me when I you know I worked on The Walking Dead as a writer, and I and I said after I was done, you know, even as they were sort of just it was in the air, like there might be oh maybe some spinoffs and this or that. And I I threw my hat in the ring just to say hey, if it's if it's Maggie and Negan, I'm in. You know, like and mm -hmm. I and I and I love all the characters of The Walking Dead, but I that those were, this was the only two, and this was the only dynamic that that. That, it, that I wanted to get in on and, and um, you know, because it is like there's a there's a fire there that's real and deep and, and it's fun. To, it's fun to play with that yeah. fire. Oh, yeah. It's, it's fun. I mean, fan reactions, they could be a little crazy sometimes, but it's it's part of the, it's part of the fun. Yeah. Uh, Lauren, in the very first scene of Dead City, you, you're, it's like you're on top of the camera smashing mm -hmm. a walker. And then like later on, there's like the multiple walkers mashed together. Yeah. Uh, I just want to talk here about how this show has helped you like learn new tricks to kill these walkers and in season two or like because that one with the multiple yeah. arm, that was crazy are we going to top that somehow we, is it possible I, I almost feel like one of our like mission statements for season two was topping the walker king <laughs> from season one but in all seriousness it's so funny because we talk about this like we know we want the action and the set pieces and the walkers and all these like inflection points for the drama and the horror and we have found a way to make it so character based this year that is like just makes it as an actor obviously mm -hmm. that much more enticing um but doing that i mean that was like one of our best walker moments i think uh, that walker king in season one and uh and then I we just it. like get to all muck in and figure out like so in this season I've, I've said this to everybody already but it was just like every single episode has some pinnacle stunty, actiony, walkery, emotional, psychological thing yeah. that happens. And we wrapped a week ago, and we tired. <laughs> no, but it's you great. just wrapped a week ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's. But you, now you get a little break. You get to go breathe a bit. Yeah. Well, Hopefully. we can. Yeah, 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 Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Can, oh. can I can also say real quick? Uh, yeah. Lauren was referring to the, that like creature at the end of, of season one, and yeah. we call it the Walker King because there's oh, the a rat. thing called yeah. the Rat King. If you guys know mm -hmm. what that is. Yeah. So if you don't know what a Rat King King is, just Google it. But that was the inspiration for that. Oh, for that's that awesome. We always call it the Walker King. That's yes. fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so yeah. I want to end it with this. I've been interview interviewing you guys about Walking Dead for years now, um, and it's cool to see the universe branching out. We're going to Europe. We went to mm -hmm. Philadelphia. We're in New York. Do you guys? How, how much do you guys keep in touch with everybody from the OG show? And do you guys all yeah. kind of talk like, hey, maybe it would be fun to – maybe Scott's going to bring us all together again someday. Yeah. We, we bug Scott about it, certainly. <laughs> yeah. um, I think a lot of us – I think we talk a lot. I mean, I talk to Norman almost daily. Um, <laughs> you know via text at least um but i think we're all we're all in touch and i think we'd all love to find a reason to get together and work together again for sure mm -hmm. um and i asked gimple about it the other day and look i think he would love to do it so you know we'll see we'll mm -hmm. see and can it please be you know we'd like to go to spain yeah, I know. <laughs> we're, oh, we're cool with that <laughs> Lauren and I can row the boat, and you know, guys yeah. and, and, and Angelica will jump in. Let's but go. I, I also have to write from Spain, too, clearly. Yeah, so. you, yeah. yeah you have to be there yeah, the obviously. whole year to get in the zone. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank yeah. you so much for coming to hang out with Comic Book at Comic Con. Everybody at home, stay tuned for more from San Diego. See you there.